everybody, it's ghost trick time. We're finishing it probably. It'd be really weird. It'd be wild if we, if did. we didn't. Yeah, it's we're on the last chapter. I can't imagine it'll take like three hours or something. They saying a dang and rampa. Fifteen years ago, The Dark Knight and Mamma Mia released on the same day. <laughs> the Dark Mama walked so Barbenheimer could run. <laughs> Final chapter. <coughs> when was Yomiao's death? It was ten years ago when the Temsic meteorite fell. <coughs> you alright there, pal? <coughs> Dying? <coughs> there we go. Please. <laughs> Just start the stream gummy. by coughing to death. Oh my god, eat slower, you maniac. There's just two gummies. That's apparently too much for you. We traveled back through time and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. God damn it, I clicked out of the window. By 26 p.m., Temzik Park, four minutes before death. Hey, Lynn. Oh no, she can't hear. She's got her AirPods on. AirPods on? Her AirPods Max. It's ready. What are you doing? Are you making a fire? Oh, a toilet plunger. Hold it! <sighs> Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? I know you're a very Probably. skinny man, and I'm a very large man, but I can easily <laughs> catch up with you. Eek! <coughs> now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Then point your gun at her. Kitty. Cat. A black cat. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Meanwhile, this is probably on the top screen. Yeah, probably. Fool. Ooh, it broke the glass. Dog. No, it made it sound like the meteor hit him, not just a fragment of it. No, ah, he's doing it. Yeah, they said fragments of it fell off everywhere, yeah. Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? You you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. You didn't do anything! The, the gods, they're the ones who saved you. Oh my god. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. I'm glad he died in that pose. <laughs> like, it's just... It's just how it is. Yeah. So that's the Temzik meteorite, eh? It's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temzik from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. Hmm. We might not be able to change your fate of dying. You just change how it happens. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started! I forgot you were here. <laughs> Yeah, because if you prevent him from getting hit with the Meteor, fragment, he none of this he ever can happens. actually die. He can actually die yeah, instead exactly. of being... None of this ever happens if we can prevent that. Now, how are we going to save you? If Lin would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. <coughs> when her sweet potato is almost ready, huh, she's not going to budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder. Little girl all alone in the park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! Anyway, if Lin won't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to move the frag have the fragment move instead. 
Oh, that's true, I guess. Hold on. Alright, where are where's the missile? I can reach from, up, from here. Yeah, I can't really reach anything. Let's see what Sissel can do. Sissel also can't reach anything. I guess we gotta wait a second then. Sweet potato. Po oh, potato. it's a potato, not a plunger. I also thought it was a plunger. Switch their guns? Is that anything? I don't. Well, no, because the guns don't have cores, and that would accomplish nothing. It's true, it's true. Yeah, let's see, what can I do? I can examine the sweet potato, I can turn up the headphones. What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even forgot what a sweet potato is? It's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious! This guy's sure I'm making me want to try one. Let's see what I turn the headphones up. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears! I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least a fate has changed, I'll be at ever so slightly. Wow, that counts as a fate change? What? Alright. Can I swap the sweet potato for anything? I'm betting I have to get into the basket and, like, it and something will happen. Rock the basket, what happens? Okay, alright. Okay. Oh, the sweet potato and the basket are the same. Does that help? Is that anything? I don't think activate it's these anything. nozzles? I can't. We spray him with it. Can we rotate oh, them? I was going to say, maybe we can swap the nozzles and then blast Those them. Those are way too far apart, right? Yeah, that's the problem, right? Oh, poor Miss Lynn. I'm sorry. If you're so sorry, then put her down. All right now, Missile. I was really out of my head that day. Well, we can talk about all of this later. The Temzik meteorite is going to fall very soon. Before that happens, I have to think of a way to do something about that fragment. And I'll do everything I can to help, too! Headphones aren't the shame. Oh, I can get in here now. Um, oh, that's so close. I can almost do it. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. So... We resume time. I bet. Nope, stop. We resume time. I bet that sweet potato's gonna float over to the jet, right? Oh, then you launch it? Uh, I probably did that wrong already. Okay, yeah, so when the sweet potato gets over to the jet, I can launch it. And then I can shoot it up to switch it with stuff with, with missile. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Well, let's go back to the fate change, because I've already fucked this. Okay, uh, where's... Nope, stop. Gotta rock the basket. No, oh, I need... Missile, I need you to get out of there. Put him in the nozzle in the top. There you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put him up here. Oh, it's so close. It's tantalizing. And right, now I need Sissel to go in the nozzle. Hi, my guy. Okay, and that with perfect timing, I blast it! Oh, look at that sweet potato! That big, scary sweet potato! That's not a sweet potato missile, that's Mino. Oh, right, of course. But look at them, the potato and Mino. Right now, they both have the same shape. So you're saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, missile. 
Okay, here I go, and I'm gonna need your help. My help? Yeah, because I need to get in the nozzle. Oh, wait, I can't reach Very the high. I can't reach the nozzle. Just gotta go around here. Yeah, okay, because uh, Sissel's going to need to. But how am I gonna. How am I gonna get Sissel over there is the problem. If I rock the well, basket I mean, again, will that. I can't. Uh, Swiss Sissel needs to be in the sweet potato. You're right. Okay. Let's go back. We'll do it again. I gotta put Sissel in the sweet potato. Okay. Missile, I need you to move somewhere else. Anywhere else, really. Um, then you. Okay, actually, I need you to not be there either. Put you there for now. I gotta do some stuff, okay? Yeah, we'll go up here, and then we'll go up here, and then we'll go up here. We'll wait up here for a second. Okay. Yeah, activate the nozzle and then switch to the sweet Once potato. Once it starts moving, I'll activate the nozzle, switch to the sweet potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nope. Do I need to get Missile closer? Do I need to get Missile into the sweet potato, I think? Yeah, that makes sense. No! No! What did I just hit? No, wrong button, fuck! <laughs> Why am I so bad at the controls of this? No! Okay, okay, just fine. I just gotta turn it back on. Spray higher. No! Fuck! I just, I panic every time. Okay. Switch to missile. I swap these. And then I swap these. Uh-oh. Oh, look, the lamppost is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder that it hasn't snapped. Just might hold out for a little while longer. I recall. Kemzik fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. Ah! If Mino sits firmly in its way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Then fate should change. Who's where right now? Okay, this is missile. That doesn't, I don't see how that really helps me. Well... Sissel can no longer move, so like. We yeah. wait. I guess so. Now, I'm betting what's going to happen here is that it's gonna knock that thing onto Sissel. He's gonna fucking. Yeah. Die. Or onto Yoda. So well. Rather. Nope. Wrong button. How are you so bad at the controls of this game, babe? Uh, it's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. Look what's right in the fragment's path. Okay, that giant sweet potato. If anything can get in the way that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, now the fragment's path ought to change. I'm 90% sure this is just going to switch him. All right, here we go. There, how's that? Look, the fragment's course, it changed a little. No, Yomiel's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. It's gonna now hit light, changed. Isn't What's it? in its path? In its path? No! It's gonna hit Jowd, isn't it? Oh, right in the dick! Right in the dick! <laughs> Ugh! <coughs> Detective Jowd! The Temzin fragment shot through his leg! What? Shot through his balls! The cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. And then he shoots him anyway. Come on, put it down! Huh? Jowd, put the gun down, now! If you don't, you're going to shoot him! I don't know if it's detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the we gun down! Know. We do not know, Molo guys. No! Yeah. To figure out who Sissel is, I'm pretty sure Sissel is the cat. 
I'll say that because it's probably going to happen. Because that's the only other person at this scene is the cat. And if you remember earlier in the game, right, when when Sissel uh, first started doing the ghost trick stuff, uh, we saw the video footage, right? And most importantly, who was Lamp? Lamp, no idea. No fucking clue. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so earlier in the game, uh, when Sissel's body was still on the ground, we saw the cat walk away. And uh, Yomiel can possess whoever, so he might have just possessed the cat to leave. The cat's, like, body. I think when Lin fired that first shot, I think it hit the cat. Because he was oh, carrying no. that ca that little cat carrier thing. Because after Lin ran away and after we started doing our ghost trick bullshit, that's when the cat hopped out of the box and walked away. So I think we're the cat. I think Sissel is the cat. That's my, that's my, that's my game theory. I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end... I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! Oh, he's gonna switch with the sweet potato! Missile, the bullet has stopped in midair! I'm here, inside the bullet! Now let's swap it with something! With what With what? Detective Jowd, the meteor fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't this detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Like the sweet potato? Yeah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's worse! Oh no. We stopped Is the bullet. Is that worse than being shot? But we still couldn't save- we need to swap- we need to get the basket over there somehow. But we still couldn't save him. That's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. Okay, see, a fate of death has changed, but still. This fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. That big rock. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wake up. You gotta get out of there. No. Damn it, my leg won't work. It's all over. We're out of time. Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. But there isn't anything else to swap with. Why don't we just let it pay out and try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her, her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let that happen. Not if I can help it. But what can we do now? Even if we work together? We could use Yomiel's ghost truck powers. I think that might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Sissel and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. Huh. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. Wish? This battle against the fate of death. <laughs> Yomiel! Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me, let's go. All right, I'll try to move there. Now gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead, though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. And remember, you only have a split second. Got it. He's manipulating it. Yes! Now it's your turn, missile. What? A me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it. You can swap them. That hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But even if I swap them, it's still right above Miss Lin. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. Yeah, this rules. <laughs> it's no use. We can't stop that horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't sense how see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped, all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn. Him. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean... That's right. I'm gonna save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Oh, no! Ooh, oh. Okay, he's, he's not legged. dead. 
He's not dead, but his legs are broken. Ye gods. He's not dead, but he's been stabbed through the back and his legs have been crushed. Ah, oh, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? No. No, it isn't. I got shot by a spa space rock. Oh, oh, it'll be fine. Just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is that you're not hurt. You... you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones that saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Well, look at the corpse. Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But... What is that? What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who have been very brave. A detective's badge? Thanks! Okay, you know what to do, little detective. Are you alive in there, buddy? Are you alive? Yeah, sadly. Hang on, help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. I, I came up through, my body rock. was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. But you know, I'm glad it happened. Are you calling the police or not? Oh, the kid! Yeah, there we are. Hey, mister? I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. It's funny, it doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor little kitty. What if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Well, looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. That these long, lonely ten years. You were my one and only friend. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm looking directly into the How street. How about it? Do you remember now? Old friend. <laughs> <laughs> This is a really good cat design, holy shit. It is. I think. I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten who wa that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Slightly different voice. This is a Meowth instead of just a... <laughs> just a cock... Uh, not a cock. A Boston? Boston, yeah. <coughs> Somebody, please look at me. Yeah, I get that. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Somebody, please reach a hand out to me. I had only just, I had just only died at the time. I had lost everything, my life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I'd still manage to reach out a hand to him. Next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you for a while.
After a while, the man regained his memory. I went... Nope. I went back to just being a cat. Then the man got his body back. This is confusing. <coughs> I shouldn't have chosen such a similar voice, but at this point, it's too late. Yeah? I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomiel. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. I'm a cat. <laughs> It was ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. It's really hard to tell who's talking right now. As time passed, yeah. my powers gradually changed. At first I could only manipulate small <laughs> creatures and objects, but then after a while I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light. Yeah, that first bullet hit the cat! I fucking knew it! When I got my revenge on Lin, I would see that light. At least that's what I tried to believe. <coughs> oh no! Yeah, that first bullet definitely hit the cat. I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. Yeah, see, he, he took the cat and left. That's how the body got down and That's there. how the body fell, yeah. I mean, we saw that in the police footage. I just assumed, like, the cat was unrelated at the, at the time. Mm. The black cat. I was possessing Cecil then. It wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Cecil was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? I wasn't able to control it completely. The first bullet didn't hit anything, <coughs> or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back because I thought that corpse was me. I was the o It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. Yeah, exactly. We started in the suitcase right behind it. We had no reason to yeah. think it was something else. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lynn tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, 
But I never would have let, just let my fiancé stay dead like that. B but you're here ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate, and I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, eh? <laughs> fate averted, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Papa. So, Yomiel, looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad, too. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these ten years. Oh, that was Lynn. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. Right, we should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lane and Miss Camilla again! These past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did and my crime. That's the way this Game of the Dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lun hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. You might not have legs when we get back, my guy. <laughs> hey, Sissel. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It will be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. That's already a thing of the long past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomiel? Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomiel. Sissel? Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll be able to see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll... I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you've come to live with me now. It's... you're not wrong. <laughs> so let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jowd. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now, we're each going back to our own new present. <laughs> we said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. What about the lamp? Yeah, what about, what about the fucking lamp? Wait, says somebody. Whoop, 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 whoop. Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Oh, it's- There you. you are! Before I cease to exist... Oh, it's you! Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you have forgotten again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I hoped. I am really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know, who exactly are you? Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. Oh. You changed the fates of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. <laughs> Forgot about that. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. Creature. 
scrittura. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. And shot missile. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... They would have killed Camilla, too. Two little dead bodies were left behind. This is fucking grim. Yeah. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw towards his mistress, and that's when a miracle occurred. Wait, is Ray Missile? What? Look at that, the powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand it himself, not yet anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, he died next to Sissel. Or he died next to Yomiel. Yeah. His hitbox. That's right. He died inside the ore of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. Oh. Sad. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What? Is the lamp missile from the past future? The lamp must be missile from the past future. He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. <coughs> and that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these ten years to be retold. So that was you, huh? No! <laughs> Oh, ah, oh. Ah. That's right. I'm Missile. Ten years in a very is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own, so you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old and my powers were weak, so I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second, you were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. B but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do, like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Very odd voice change, I'll think. I know, right? <laughs> Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know such a, so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. We what? We met before? From listening to the conversation of the two intruders in the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the tw darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my first stand on end, I can tell you. Th that was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time, too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? 
I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And then you disappeared away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. Then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. Then you mean that thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. I was about to say. Yeah, I mean, we. I think we had already kind of figured out that that was bullshit, given that Sissel was dead, or Yomiel was dead for ten years. Yeah. And Lamp had been around for who knew how long. Apparently also... Yeah, but... Apparently also ten years. I mean, he's different. But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh, boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Bad missile. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. Hmm. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course! Because that's what doggies do! Now then, farewell, Sissel! The lamp wasn't God after all. That was my thought too, Molo Guy. Nah, the, no, the lamp is Missile. Missile's kind of like God. Oh, fuck no! That went away. I made my way back. Back to a new present. I wasn't expecting the text to go away, so I didn't read it the first time. Shit. Alright, for real this time, though. Or are we gonna get hit with a weight again? Legend of this. Huh? How come it's dark? I'll just turn on the lights here. Oh! I know where we are. Yay. Eh? <laughs> Were you surprised? You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. Yippee, it worked. But it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. My fucking Joud's stance is so powerful. That's all right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Jowd. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges, too? Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad get, just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. <laughs> How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. It's been ten years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? You gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? But now that I'm a detective... I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. Ha <laughs> ha! That you will, that you will. 
Meow. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's ten years old, but he's still a kitten. We... the... the... Sissel got hit with the meteorite fragment this time. Still a kitten. Yep, he never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious Aww. little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. Hmm, seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Hey. All right, everyone, let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. A whole chicken. Yeah. Baby. I love him. I love kittens. Said you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. <sighs> and so we meet again, Sissel. Aw. From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now this is my new fate. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I fucking love the way he eats chicken. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Man, they have two big chickens, a cake, and a plate of spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> what a dinner. Yeah! <laughs> Why does Happy he birthday have to a now? lovely Lynn! Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hi, Missile. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. She's, missile is her dog. The birthdays of celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. Nah, Missile's fine in this timeline. Ah, uh, he's eating the spaghetti. Holy shit. Sorry, that's- I hope this just adds more people eating somehow. Oh, look, he's doing it! Hell yeah! That was sick, man. There! How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good! Maybe now I can be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for his men? Now, see, yeah, Missile never died. I mean, I guess the one from ten years ago ceased to exist. I, old Missile no longer exists, but regular Missile is fine. I, he still got his shoes off. I hate it. Here's your food, gentlemen. Memory, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking new members for the Special Investigation Unit today. So you took up on a part-time job here again, just so you could eavesdrop. Oh, you have no idea the lengths I'd go to to reach my goals. Troubling. <laughs> hmm, what, is, what did she mean by that? Find out in the sequel. La la la, I've never cooked chicken this way before. So exotic, so exciting. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, and fenugreek. Curried chicken, pa la 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 la. Is this really necessary, this new curried chicken menu item? Oh, but our very best customer requested it. Now good luck with the taste testing. Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Who exactly is this very best customer, anyway? Is it Sissel some- Oh, this motherfucker! He's free! He never committed crimes! 
He never took the police chief hostage and demanded Curry about it. Just kind of vibing, you know? Oh, I hope they blow... Are you really sure we need all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute, 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams. Whoa. Hey. Curry man is rich now, I guess. Why were they stealing from a chicken restaurant? I mean, uh, clearly they were loaded. I guess. It's a very successful chicken restaurant, I suppose. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all you could give me? You must have heard some juicy stories. The indiscretions of a minister, perhaps? Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? He was to the stogy mind of my darling husband. Fuck! <laughs> she just hit him in the face. With a wine oh. glass. <laughs> Even just like this deal is going quite well. Oh, I must say these grapes are quite good, my man. The Yoda was about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be forewarned, sir. Egad! Keep it together, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I nearly died of fright just now. Jesse and James die? I think so. At the very least, they exploded. <laughs> They're fine. He used 20 times as much gun battery as those to use. They'll survive. Rock and roll guy, playing in the park. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Where's the, oh, where, where's the freak? Where's the weirdo? The park weirdo? God, I hope he's here. <laughs> Look at them all head banging. There they are. Stop the park from charging admission. Protect the rights of those who live here. Incredible. Not 20 times, a thousand times. Yeah, listen, I did my math bad. <laughs> listen, we're Americans, not we're Americans. I don't Europeans. know what grams are. The only gram I know is Billy Graham. <laughs> Hell yeah, true. Bailey. Break it down. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. Ooh. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Then let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomachache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. Oh, I'm real interested in that one. You show it to me, say, next week. You got it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at him go. They should put that guy in Fortnite. <laughs> he knows all the dances already. Yeah, that's true. Hey, look at that. Hey! It's gonna be a picture of Detective Job. Ten long years, Yomio. Your time's up today. The young lady who always comes to visit you is waiting outside. <coughs> you am gonna bring that with you? Thank you, Sissel. I want to know what the painting is. Come on. You can't do that. I assume it's going to show it at the end. Ah, uh, it's Aww. painting a sizzle. Aw, that's good. Good 
picture. <laughs> My two dads. One of whom is married. We get proper credits? Sure seems like it. Nice. Well, that was, good game. that was a good game. I'm glad I finally got to play it. I didn't, I'll be honest, I knew this game was called Ghost Trick, right? And had the powers of dead stuff. I didn't think it would be caused by a radioactive meteorite that hit a guy. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this game other than it was a visual novel on the DS and it had that guy, the red guy. The red guy. Yeah, because I've seen him in people's profile pictures for a long time. Right. I, mean, I can see why people really liked this game. That was super good. Yeah. Yeah, I know, uh, like, the gaming podcasts I listen to bring it up a lot as a, one of the best games. Like, was it was probably their game of the year, the year it came out. Also, to show how long my gaming podcast has been yeah, listening to going on. Quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit of time. Yeah. Donut. Circle. My donut. It's just over there now. My Bag donut. Bagel. Rat. Rat. Ah, yeah. Get him, Missile. Get him. Get him. What would a sequel look like? I don't, I don't know, but know. The, the director kind of was like, eh, eh, if you buy, eh, it might happen. I feel I like know. it might have to be, like, it can't be a, a like, straight I sequel. If, it has I don't know to if be it would like still an, be about Sissel, right? No, it can't be about Sissel. They... They've rounded up everything in this timeline is good. They have to write a new story using the gameplay elements. Yeah, a new a new mystery with a new character. Like they couldn't yeah. they couldn't play the same trick again, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Like I guess you could do it about missile if you have like ghost advisor Shutikumi. Thanks, man. Bark at Capcom. Bark at it, missile. Bark at it, missile. Obtained a new illustration. Fate averted. Cleared ghost trick. We can now change the background. All right, now we've unlocked uh, memories. Are these just the cuts. Memories. The these are just of the people. A lot of these people don't have names. <laughs> Typical cop. Minor crew hands. Yeah, that's right. That, this guy just quits. I forgot about that. Uh, look at all that shit. Ooh, look at all that shit. Art. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. The beard is kind of sick, though. <laughs> the goatee. I'm glad they didn't go with it. Oh, these are weird. Hey. Women. Women. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, that guy on the right is cool as hell. Advance Wars ass looking bitch. <laughs> this guy just looks like Tombstone from Spider Man. I don't know what that the, is. That sec that first guy looks like Bato from Ghost of Michelle. A little <laughs> bit. Do you think the guy with the red tie and blue suit is referenced Phoenix, right? It might be. I Whoa. Is that what Missile was supposed to look like originally? No way, dude. No way. Missile as a bulldog sucks, kind of. Whoa. Ooh, look at those. Boy, this is some, oh, who? What? <laughs> Why? I don't even know who some of these are supposed to be. Chicken kitchen guy. Oh, terrifying. oh no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Get over the milk. Yeah. Ooh, look at that gun, gun pose. Can 
missile. Oh, mm, she holds missile. A lot of this stuff. She eats gun. I'm glad he drew the eating chicken animation. Yeah. Had to like sketch it out. Had to make sure that one was right. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Shu actually did these or if he has like an art. Like I don't know if he's an artist or he has an artist guy. You know? Who knows? I don't. Sure. But this has a very distinct visual style that I like a lot. Yeah, looks great. Uh, hey, here's the assassin guys. Sorry, I'm just kind of flipping through because this was sort of a short one, but I'm also curious yeah. about this stuff. Oh, here's here's some that you like. <laughs> Sorry, look at <laughs> look at Tandy in that bottom one. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That's really good. Chicken man. Look at me, low line. Oh, look at him spin. Boy, this must have taken some fucking stuff, huh? Is he non-stop jamming? How far in are we? How many of these are there? Seems like a lot. Oh, a hell lot yeah, hell scene. yeah, here we go. This is the cool shit. No! Oh, look at all the things he might have been originally. No, Trash Can Yomio sucks. What's wrong? What's Trash wrong? Can Yomio sucks. <laughs> You're not a fan? Not a fan no. of the one where he's just got a potted plant on his head? Stinky. What? Why is, why is gun pointed forward? Claw. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna figure out how much talent goes into making games, right? Look at this fucking image by Takumi is really good. Look at that shit. Yeah. Pointy. Yeah, we're right back at the beginning. All right. So this game's got challenges, and I don't... Oh, no, that's the achievement. Sorry. This game's got ghost yeah. puzzle, and I don't know what that means. What is ghost puzzle? Wait a minute. Is this Wait. just... Oh, my God. It's sliding back. Ah, trick no. time. No. Why? No, I'm not doing this. Weak. Coward. Okay, you got the bottom ones up at the top, so you need to get those down. Oh yeah, you, 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 you're so right. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm like always right. Okay, all right. Now well, they, actually, they are okay. offset by one. Okay. So now I just gotta. The problem is this one is like on top. I'm so bad at these. They're fun. There's one in Final Fantasy 14. I wish there were more. I was also wish there were more jigsaw puzzles in Final Fantasy 14. Problem is that I've got. I think at this point got everything except for like, you know. The top is the issue. Kind of hard to tell where which goes. I'm so bad at these. You have no fucking idea. No, I can tell. There, there. Okay, there you go. There you go. Move it up. Oh, no, yeah. There okay, you go. I nailed it. See? Right. 
No, make... Okay, fate averted. What does that mean? Cool. The fate of you not finishing the puzzle. You know, when I thought ghost puzzle, I thought, what's after this, rain code? Uh, yeah, Swissy and I were actually talking about it. Uh, he gets off work early tomorrow, and I'm off tomorrow, so we're probably going to play rain code tomorrow uh, during the day. Rain code. He master my detective until I archive. Uh, anyway, that will do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. We'll catch you tomorrow for uh, definitely, Zaki, Zaki. definitely Ishin, maybe Rainco. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.